Today marks a critical moment in our six-point plan for ending the violence in Syria and for creating the conditions for an inclusive uh, political solution that meets the democratic aspirations of the uh, Syrian people. As of this afternoon, as of this moment, the situation looks calmer. We are following it uh, very closely. The world is watching, however, with <coughs> skeptical eyes uh, since many promises previously made by the government of Syria had not been kept. The onus is on the government of Syria to prove that their deeds will be matched by their deeds, their words, their words will be matched by their deeds at this time. Once again, I call on the government of Syria to fully implement its commitment under the six-point uh, plan. Association here in Geneva, I want to... Too many lives have been lost. It is time to stop the killing. I appeal to all friends of Syria to exercise a maximum influence in halting this tragic conflict. Of troops and tanks still in the, in the cities. In the if we are to stop Syria's descent into chaos, the international community must speak and act as one. It is difficult to fully assess the situation on the ground in the absence of the UN observers. And therefore, we are working with the Security Council to send an observer team as promptly as possible. Council, and I'm curious about your thoughts. The international community has sent a clear and unanimous message to the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. It's a decision to launch so-called application satellite atop a ballistic missile uh, will raise tensions in the region. It will negatively affect DPRK's relations with its neighbors. I once again urge DPRK to heed the call of the international community. I have committed to a better French for Francophone. We are gravely concerned about the escalating conflict between Sudan and South Sudan. I spoke yesterday with the president of South Sudan, Salva Kiir, as well as the permanent representative of Sudan and some regional leaders. I urge the both governments to cease hostilities immediately and hold a presidential summit to negotiate a durable solution to their differences. War would only compound the already considerable sufferings of the people of Sudan and South of Sudan. What is required is a political will and political leadership at the moment of need. This crisis requires the full and urgent attention of the international community. When exactly do you think is the time to send this observer mission? Could it be, for example... Our UN envoys in the region are working with both sides to prevent a renewal of open hostilities. In this moment of inflamed tensions, it is imperative that both sides exercise the maximum restraint in the interest of their peoples and their common future. They are seeking for another uh, Security Council resolution. On humanitarian front, the number of refugees fleeing to neighboring Turkey and Lebanon in recent days is surging. An estimated one million Syrians <coughs> need humanitarian assistance. Discussions are ongoing about how best to help them. In coordination with the Syrian Arab Red Crescent, the United Nations is already delivering supplies to displaced persons in Tartus governorate in western Syria. The whole United Nations system will continue to do its utmost to help alleviate human suffering. Uh, allow me, Mr. Secretary General.